Okay, so silver has two isotopes. One isotope contains 60 neutrons and has a percent abundance of 51.839%. The other contains 62 neutrons, right? So let's write down what the problem gives us. So silver and silver, we have these two isotopes, so thank you for seeing that. So both of them are 47 for their atomic number, right? So in order to find their mass number, right, we have to add that number of neutrons, okay? So in this case, right, it's gonna be the number of neutrons, I mean, sorry, the mass number is going to be the number of protons plus the number of neutrons, and so we have 47 in every one, and this one was 60 neutrons, right? So that's 107. And the mass number for this one is gonna be the same protons plus neutrons, so 47 plus 62. So that's gonna be one oh. So is everybody okay with that? Can I erase that? Okay, so now we want to figure out what the relative abundance of each one of these things is. So it says the one is 51.839%. Okay, so this is relative abundance. And then we'll say um, the mass is 107 a.m. And we know the mass down here. Is 109 AMU. Yeah. And then the relative abundance, how do we figure this out? Say 100 minus 51.839, right? And 48.161%. So everybody's cool with doing all of that, right? Now we want to figure out how do we get to the average atomic mass? So um, the average atomic mass is going to be, you can do this two ways. You can turn this into a decimal right away if you want. So divide both of these by 100%, okay? Or you can divide it at the end by 100%, okay? So let's just divide it by the end, or divide it at the end by 100%, because I think I have some examples already where I divide them uh, at the beginning, okay? So what do I do? I just take 51.839% times 107 AMU, add that to 48.161%, times 109 AMU, and then, sorry, and then divide that by 100%, okay? Is everybody cool with that? So again, it's the abundance of the isotope times the mass of the isotope plus the abundance of the isotope times the mass of the isotope all divided by 100%. Good. So let's do this. So, plus 100. And I get, so, So again, you would expect it to be in between 109 and 107, and almost exactly in between due to the abundance of these two, right? Unfortunately, we can only go to three significant figures here. I'll write down what I have to five significant figures, and then we'll cut it down to three. So 107.963 AMU, right? That's what my calculator gives me. Because why? Because percentages are going to cancel, but AMUs are not going to cancel. Does everybody see that too? Okay, so our units are percentage. And then we got to cut this down to three signals. Is everybody cool with that too? 
Why? Because we're multiplying here. This has to go to 3 sixteenths. This has to go to 3 sixteenths. This is an actual exact number, so we don't have to worry about the sig figs there. Everybody's cool with that? So when we take this to 3 sig figs, 108 AMU. So that's the average atomic mass of silver given in this particular problem. Is everybody okay with this? analysis of doing this type of stuff. Okay, so again, if you were given like four isotopes, um, and maybe I'll do that later, one like that later, um, you just do the same thing. Abundance times mass plus abundance times mass, and if you, there's another one, plus abundance times mass plus abundance times mass, as many isotopes as they get. Is everybody okay with that? Divide it all by 100%. Okay, and that's how you get that average mass number that's written in red. Um, below the elemental symbol on the periodic table. Cool? Questions?